Okay, so welcome back. In this video, I will be teaching you how to read the contents of a file using the read file function. So in the previous video, we have learned how to get the file handle of a file. So to get the file handle of a file, we just simply use the create file a function. Okay, and now we have the file handle. So to read the contents of a file, we just use the read file function okay so the read file function has five parameters namely the overlap structure the buffer where the bytes read is placed the bytes to read and the buffer where the contents of the file will be placed and the file handle okay so just a quick overview the overlap structure is basically a pointer to the overlap structure and this is usually just set to zero, okay? Then the bytes to read is basically the number of bytes or the buffer where the number of bytes to be read will be placed, okay? Next is the bytes to read. So this will contain the number of bytes or the maximum number of bytes that we want to read. So in this case, I want to read a maximum of 256 bytes, okay? Next is the buffer. So this will contain the buffer that will receive the data read from the file. Okay? And lastly, the file handle which we have obtained from the create file a function. Okay? Next, so that we can see the contents of the file, I just invoke a cd out on the offset of the file contents. Okay? So let's save project console build all. So we see no errors. Let's open a terminal here. And let's run test.exe. So as you can see, the content is subscribe to jlearnph! And this is the same as the content of the readme.txt in the desktop. Okay, so this is how we do it. And I hope to see you again next time.